Hi, I'm Jonathan Schwartz, Chief Executive Officer of Sun Microsystems, and I'm joined today, it's a pleasure, uh, to be with Rich Green, Executive Vice President of Java One. Thanks, Jonathan. Fresh off the stage. Um, so what did we announce today? Well, today at Java One, it was all about uh, rich internet applications. You mean you could use Java for rich internet applications? In fact, on all the screens of your life. That was the overview. We, we showed off Java FX, which is about to ship in the next two months, uh, running on a variety of platforms, running on desktop devices and mobile devices, and it was an incredible display of immersive experiences. High performance graphics, 2D, 3D, media, we showed some um, uh, high performance video, running in 3D uh, movie balls, it was just remarkable so, stuff. So, you know, that's all well and good. Okay. So how many devices, how many consumers does Java actually reach though? Well, if you uh, take out the three billion Java cards in the world, that's three billion Java cards, you're left with about three billion other devices, about 900 million desktops, about 2.2 billion mobile devices, it's pretty pretty decent market share. So that probably reaches more of the market than almost any other platform in the market. Not almost any other platform in the market. Oh, that's fascinating. So what's the value proposition for a developer, though? Why why are they going to care? Beyond, I mean, obviously they care about reach. Mm -hmm. What else do they care about? Well, if you want to reach everybody on the planet, I think you're going to pick a platform that covers 85% of all mobile devices, 91% of all desktops. But think about it this way: it's a, it's a complete open source platform, right? It's a complete open source economy about using the technology. Do developers care about free and open source software? I hear that's an in thing, John. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe your line, I'm just listening to you. Well, and I hear developers, I hear developing companies, mm -hmm. and I also hear developing nations mm -hmm. care an awful lot about free and open source software. So, first and foremost, we can reach more of the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we can deliver a value proposition, because last I checked, the other guys aren't actually open source. Uh, no, they aren't, but I, I want to add that besides developers, the folks who have been building Java applications, there's about six million of them in the world, we've added this new layer with Java FX and scripting. We've uh, enabled content creators throughout the world World who are really building the, the next generation of beautiful RIA applications to work on the Java platform. This, so this creative continuum. professionals are now going to have access to the Java platform? They don't have to be using Emacs and writing code? No, no, no. It's designed completely for creative professionals, layered on top of Java, and everywhere Java runs, Java FX runs, and the work of all these people will all run. So you showed, I'm sure of it, Java FX running on Android. I how, believe how, I did. How'd that happen? Well, in fact, we worked with somebody in the community to take uh, the Java FX runtime and host it on top of Android. And it was a very simple act. Uh, the, one of the design centers of Java FX is to run on any mobile device. So it brings together all of the mobile devices out there. The two billion devices are already pre-designed to run Java FX and everything out there, all the platforms, may, maybe it's iPhone, certainly Android, others are all able to run this platform. So now that's all well and good, but I hear from a lot of companies that they want to make money off of data. Mm -hmm. And they want to pick platforms that put them in the data stream. They don't want to give over access to the information about what their consumers are doing or the intentionality of their, of their social graph. They don't want to give that information to any technology provider. So rumor has it we're going to be doing that with Project Insight and Java FX? Well, one of the great things about uh, FX is we built it as a fully instrumented platform. And what I mean by that is it allows data to pass two ways about usage characteristics of the deployed service that uh, either content creators or developers create. What this means is that with instrumentation package, the developer or the service provider can gather that information, understand the usage pattern, and use it for things like updating information or perhaps ad advertising or other monetization opportunities. You mean we're not going to step between a content owner and their consumers? We're not going to step in there and harvest all that information? just for us? Well, let me be clear, we're not going to step in between, but we're also going to preclude anyone else stepping in between. So the, the creator of the service has first rights access to the data, and it remains anonymous, so it's a perfectly efficient system to ensure that everybody can get to their customers or get to their market and learn more about it. So rumor has it there's a lot of enterprises in the world that already have Java skills, there's all these devices in the world that already run Java, mm -hmm. so do you think this makes Java a contender in the rich internet application space? Well, I think it's an overwhelming contender. I think nothing has the distribution and reach that Java has. Nothing is open source like this. And what we saw on stage with high performance, um, high, high performance video, 3D, 2D audio, unlike anything else out there. But I thought the user experience around Java was kind of weak, and there's that gray box, and it takes a long time to load, and you can't really move apps onto the desktop, so you, you fix that? It's all changed today. In fact, today we released Java 6 Update 10, which is the platform for Java FX. It's a new high performance platform, has a new plugin that allows you to drag and drop uh, applications out of the browser onto the desktop and you install You mean you can just install the application by dragging from the desktop or from the, the web page itself as a distribution mechanism right onto the desktop? And just close the browser and you're done. Right? Wow. It's a little bit of work. 
right? Uh, very high, high performance download, very, very quick startup speed, enhanced graphics. We just announced a relationship in which we have media codecs built into the FX runtime, so we can unify the data types all over the planet between mobile devices and desktops. You mean there's going to be a, a uniform time-based media framework for all Java runtime? Framework and codec, so wherever Java goes, there's a guarantee that there'll be a codec there that'll run the data in a unified manner. Well, that sounds pretty exceptional. Well, it's a busy day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys have actually been pretty busy. And yeah, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very so, much. Where do actually, folks thank the Java team. They've been just doing amazing work over the last couple of months, and I, I, people were blown away by the demonstrations. Yeah, today. and I have to admit, I was uh, really blown away as well. It's it's a def, it's a new world, and it's definitely a new Java. So, where do folks go to learn more? Well, javasun.com, or go to javafx.com, and you can learn all about it, or show up at Java One. Right? It's the, there's a couple more days left. There's amazing presentations here. The the energy is is unlike. I've seen in years, so it's so now great the, stuff. the one question everybody wants to have an answer to. Yeah. When are you going to get Java running on an iPhone? <laughs> so should we just leave it at that, or should, should we? I think we should just leave it at that. Maybe you could go ask somebody else about that. Okay, All excellent. Right. Well, right. look, thanks. thanks very much for the time. We really appreciate it, and uh, and it's going to be a great new world uh, with definitely a new Java. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, and again, come on over to java.sun.com if you want to learn more about what we're up to.